Hey guys, Nikki here, also known as the Bone Cosplay, and today I will be doing Asuna. 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 And Asuna makeup. It's the first time I'm doing it, so, um. Life is an experience. Uh, so, first, I'm just gonna be starting off with foundation. Um, I'm using Maybelline Fit Me or whatever, um, porcelain. Uh, as well as matching um, concealer. Alright, so now that we have that done, we're just going to seal it. Uh, I'm using Ben 9 Neutral Set. Um, it, even though it does say it's neutral, um, it does lighten it a little bit, but it also gives that matte finish that sealing does. Alright, now from here, you don't have to do it in the exact same order, because I don't even know if, I, if I'm doing it in the right order, so that will be up to you, um, but what I personally do next is my eyebrows, and for that I have um, just Maybelline Brow Define Fill Duo Thingy Majiggy, uh, it has one end to uh, outline your eyebrows, and then the other side fills it in. So basically what the package says. So you just want to go in there and trace out your eyebrow. I always, always, always stay away from drawing on extra eyebrows. Uh, so I maintain my eyebrows pretty, pretty well. Or at least I like to think I do. Now you'll see it has a really weird hollow look to it. That's because you need to fill it in. It's not easy. Now um, this thing is meant for um, blonde eyebrows, so I will have to uh, use a little bit of eyeshadow to uh, make it a little more. Um, to make it a little more orangey to match the wig. Now I'm not doing any sort of special eyebrows, I'm just doing my normal um, eyebrows. Uh, and what I also do is I take this little tool There we go. Uh, and I uh, take the comb side comb my brows and then use a brush to get the extra uh, product out of my brow also to make it lighter. Okay, so now we have those lightened up and for the uh, coloration of it, I'm going to be using this uh, NYX uh, Street Style. There is this wonderful reddish kind of brick color there. Um, it, it really doesn't show up quite the same color, but it will work a little bit. Okay, so I don't know. Uh, you might be able to see a difference. So it, the color has changed slightly, but not too much. What I personally like to do next is brow highlight, because that's part of the eyebrows. Alright, so now that's done, we can move on to eyes. Now, you will want to notice 
I have some lenses in. Um, I just got them yesterday. They are uh, one of the sponsored lenses from Pinky Paradise. Um, so they sent me, or I got to choose out which one I want. I'm like, oh, good awesomeness. Um, so um, I will put a link to those here. Okay, so for eyes, I have just CoverGirl ink it. Uh, I have it in charcoal ink, but I wanted it to be in black, but I didn't get the right one. So. But anyways, um, we'll, we're just going to do the waterline and then the top as well. Uh, and then we'll move on to actu the actual liner and wings and all that fun stuff. All right, so now that we've finished that up, uh, I'm gonna move on to the actual eyeliner now. Um, I don't know what kind of eyeliner this is. Uh, I'll try to find a link for it because I got it off like eBay. Um, but yeah, I will try to find that and if there is a link, it'll be here. If not, there'll be a sad face. Like that, but more sad. Like, anyways, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Now, one thing is, some people will pull their eye back like that, uh, and I do that, um, but don't do it too hard because. Uh, I actually got, I don't know what it was, but uh, scabs started to form in the corners of my eyes uh, and under my eyes because I was stretching it out too far, so don't stretch it out too far, okay? Okay, so that is definitely not what I was going for. So what I do to fix this is I get a Q-tip and I just make the shape like that rather than getting it all off and starting from nothing. Alright, so you can see how it's a little wing, and I'm not gonna lie, I have a little chart drawn out uh, to plan what I was doing for this makeup. So this is pretty darn close to what I was going for. Uh, so I'm just gonna touch this up and then move, uh, do the other eye, and then I'll just cut to bend because you don't need to see me do it again. Right, so now that we have that done, we will move on to eyelashes. Now, I have normal mascara, but I'm also going to be doing fake lashes because it's a cosplay. So, um, I will do a video for that too. In, in this video, it will be a, a segment. Anyways, so I will do my mascara and then show you guys what I'm talking about. Alright guys, so I did done my mascara. Uh, I got my some lashes. They're nothing special. Um, they're just typical lashes. Um, I think when I'm gonna cosplay Austin at a con, I'm gonna get some super special cute lashes. But anyways, uh, for glue, this is what I use. Um, <coughs> And you just uh, put the glue, and you just put the glue along there, and then you put it on your lash or on your lash line, and then press it in to the corners. And you don't want to go too far into the corner or too far to the side. Uh, I do trim uh, my fake lashes to my eye because that is, it, I think it looks better for me. But 
that's a you thing. Uh, and I personally like to just kind of let the glue, uh, lash glue dry a tiny, tiny bit before I put it on because it's not um, as fresh. It's a little tackier so it will stay in place better. That kind of stuff. And I do have tweezers as well just to push in the corners. And uh, I'm just gonna do the other one too. Alright, so while those are doing their little drying thing, uh, I'm gonna quickly touch up my eyebrows. Um, and wait. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna touch up the, or go over the eyelashes again with some mascara. Uh, going through it with a wand as well, just to make sure it's all nice and even, there's not clumping. Okay, so now that I've fixed that mess, uh, I'm gonna go in and do some light shadow. So I'm gonna be using this one uh, for the main lid, and then I'll just do a little tiny edge with that, and then I'll blend it in and it'll look all nice. That's what I normally do, by the way. Okay, so we have that. And then I'll just use my finger, kind of blend the colors together a bit, so we can see that. It's not too, too much difference, as we can see here. I'm going to do the same for the other side. And then we go ahead and blend that in. Right, and there we go. So it's a little, it's a little messy, but it's not like damn in your face, man. Uh, and then what I like to do, especially for cutesy uh, characters, not that it's that awesome as cutesy, I just take a little bit of this silver here, uh, and just the tiny bit, of, tiniest bit of the corner, uh, and that just kind of adds a little shimmery sparkle to your eye. And now that that's done, yeah, you can see, uh, you just want to go over the eyeliner again, just to, because of, because of fallout and, you know, all that stuff. And then I'm also going to go once over with it with mascara. And then one last thing I do is I take the lightest, it's kind of like a gold, uh, just put that on the brush and go over uh, that silver that I had. Kind of do a little bit under the eyes. And I think that's all for makeup. I'm going to go put my wig on and take some pictures maybe. Do some stuff at the most. Alright guys, so here it is all done. You can see very nice makeup there. Um, I don't know how I feel about the bangs of the wig, but the back is very nice. Let me but yeah, um the styling could Prove a little, so I'll ask Chris if he'd like to work a little bit. And look at them lenses, yo. Uh, but yeah, it came braided. Don't bother asking where I got it because I got it somewhere off eBay. I'll leave a link in the description if I can. Oh gosh, I do make. But anyways, uh, I'm going to take a few more pictures for Instagram and all that fun stuff. So I'll see you later.